and verse 10. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. So one day in the kingdom of heaven is better than a thousand of your best days on this side, man. Let me repeat that again. One single day in the kingdom of heaven is better than a thousand of your best days on this side, man. Okay. When things were better for you. Moments that you can reminisce on and say, yeah, that was a good day. The kingdom of heaven blows it out the park, man. It blows it out the water. Just one day. Not to mention, the Heavenly Father, He's going to stretch out the time. He's going to expand the time so you can enjoy your immortality. You can enjoy your life. And the Lord said in wisdom of Solomon, He created the Israelite man to be an image of His own eternity, man. We're going to be a likeness of His own eternity, man. We're going to be many most highs, man. We're going to be many most highs. Okay? God's on earth under your how about Shemiah was shot. And also what's going to make us gods? These laws, statutes, commandments, and us judging by the laws, statutes, commandments, but also these laws being in our inward parts, making us those perfect judges. Not to mention, we experience these different reincarnations in this wicked flesh, so we know how to judge the flesh. We know how to judge this body because we've been in this body many times. Okay? But once again, the kingdom of heaven is going to be patterned after the mind of your how about Shemiah was shot, man. A righteous paradigm. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing and salutation to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners who may have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures to the faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and what I want to get into today, you know, is this rebellious kingdom, okay, of America. All right, this rebellious kingdom of Esau Edom, this beast system, you know, as a whole. All right, and pretty much when we use the term Westernization, you know, it's pretty much all right, a doctrine of Satanism, you know. It's a doctrine of Satanism. And this is the sinful kingdom in the earth. Esau, Edom, as the scriptures say, will be revealed as the man of sin. Okay, and not only he is the man of sin, he wants to indoctrinate the earth, you know, in sin and make it seem as sin is the way and that you can prosper, you know, okay, within sin. And that's the same thing that he done, okay, to all right, uh, 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 Eve, you know, he pretty much made it seem as if Eve would prosper, okay, in sin, would prosper in being out of order, all right, when the serpent came to Eve, you know, we've seen the same thing today on a much massive scale under this beast, <laughs> you know, this serpent you know, has become their dragon, the ruler of the earth, okay, so when you get the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 8, it said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. Now, at the time, this was speaking of us, all right, speaking of Israel, you see. But in this time, what is it referring to today? All right, Esau, Edom, and mainly America, you know, because he removed us from being the kingdom. We're, we, don't, we don't have a kingdom. We don't have sovereignty anymore. 
we was removed, okay, because the Lord seen our disorder, all right, and our, all right, disobedience, okay, and he halted us from being sovereign, he halted us from being the kingdom, okay, and it says, and I will destroy it from the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, you know, and the Lord, you know, left a remnant of his people, okay, for what salvation, man, through all the chastening, through all the punishment, you know, that the Lord put us, put on us as a people, he left a remnant, but see, with these devils, okay, America going to be completely destroyed off the map. These devils are going to go into captivity and eventually they're going to be done away with. It's not going to be a remnant of Esau, Edom after that thousand year period. Okay? So the Lord is going to remove Esau from being, all right, sovereign in the kingdom and the earth in a much more dramatic, all right, and brutal fashion, man, through nuclear war. Okay? And through the chariots and Yahushai. Okay? So the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, which, you know, there's a, been a lot of more sightings, what they call UFOs or UAPs, you know, unknown uh, aerial phenomena. Okay. <laughs> you see? And what and those are the eyes of the Lord. Okay, which are the chariots, man. And they're reporting, okay, the happenings in the earth, man. And you know, all right, Esau has a terrible report. <laughs> okay. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 15 and 3. It said, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. You know, and we pray that, you know, our conduct is considered good. You know, and that we're part of that elect that's going to be delivered from the Lord's wrath. Because he's going to bring the wrath because of the evil that's being reported back to the throne, man. You know, and he's going to send deliverance for the good. That's being reported back to the throne. And we pray that we're part of that good. Now you go here. Into the time of. um. Alright because. The scriptures speak about how. America. Alright how Babylon. Will get the same judgment. Matter of fact. Let me get that. And then we'll get. Um, we'll get. Um, that in Genesis. Show you, you know, the Lord operates in the same fashion, you know. But Esau, Edom, you know, he has, through his indoctrination, has reduced the fear of the Lord in the earth, you know, to nothing outside of, you know, the hopeful elect, all right. Esau has reduced the fear of the earth to nothing, man, okay. It's the book of Jeremiah. All right, 49, 17, it says, and it says, also Edom shall be a desolation, okay? Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, okay? And Edom is begging for this destruction. Edom is, is begging to be desolate through their conduct in the earth, man, through their rebellion that they're affording in the earth. Esau is begging for it, man. Okay, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. So the Lord, like is the, the, the desolation of Esau, Edom, and this beast, all right, empire, this rebellious kingdom, okay, he likens it to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, and before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, what did he do? Okay. Let's see. Might be. Let's see. Yep, this is on Genesis 18 and 20. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom, okay, and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, okay, I will now, 
go I would I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it which is come unto me and if not I will know okay so the Lord dispatched angels to Sodom and Gomorrah all right to be a witness against that place when we see the chariots you know those chariots are, are witnesses, you know, those chariots, you know, they, they're overseeing the ministry, you know, sending their report back, making sure brothers is on point, you know, and also they're um, uh, being a witness against the wickedness that's going on in the earth, man. They're bringing their report back. Okay, you read in the NLT, Genesis 18 and 20, it says, so the Lord told Abraham, I have heard a great outcry from Sodom and Gomorrah because their sin is so flagrant. Okay? <laughs> their sin is so flagrant, man. Hey, they, they, they too out of pocket. What you going to go into, man? I am going down to see if their actions are as wicked as I have heard. If not, I want to know. Okay? So the same, all right, set up. All right? The, 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 the Lord Judge Solomon and Gomorrah. All right, we're seeing the same thing happening in America, man. And now you have a pro the prophets, okay, the uh, ground zero in the trenches, okay, uh, 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 complaining and reporting of, of the wickedness, all right, and testifying of the wickedness that's, that's going on here, man. Okay? So, let's um go from there. Let's go here. Now this is um from the elder brother Yasha Wamba. And um pretty much all right what you have, you know, they changed the quarter, you know, and the video gonna explain it. Well ultimately what we're seeing is just an open rebellion against your how about Shimao Shai. You know, is it just a flat out open rebellion? You have, you know, this guy Wayne Brady. You know, coming out said, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, uh, you know, wicked enough to come out and just say that you're, you know, you're a switch hitter. <laughs> you know, now it, it, it's pansexual, man. Now it's, it's nothing is off limits. Okay. Now it's just, there's, there's wild. Okay. <laughs> so we'll play this, man. You know, get some more precepts. Have some videos a few things to go into and uh hopefully you're edified today today is august 4 2023 5 p.m central here in the u.s god bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world please subscribe give us a thumbs up ring that bell for critical future updates one of our subscribers asked me if it was true or not if the new 2022 quarter faced away from the inscription in god we trust so i did some investigation ended up with a government website snoops so we knew we would get the right answer it turns out that in fact the new design of the quarter released in 2022 under joe biden has president washington facing away from the inscription in god we trust as if he were turning his back on god Let's read what Snoops had to say about this in a redesign of our U.S. quarter released in 2022. Founding father and first U.S. president George Washington faces the opposite direction from that in previous designs. Fact check. Social media users have shared images that supposedly showed the face of the first U.S. president George Washington facing right, not left, on the front of a new quarter coin released in 2022. Many of these social media posts stated that Washington was now facing away from the coin's inscription in God We Trust, and that the alleged change revealed a change in modern society's religious views. Is this true? In fact, this is true. Washington faces away from the inscription in God We Trust on all quarters since 2021. Please share, subscribe, and always... All right, so there you have it. And again, this is nothing too big, but... 
we know that nothing happens for a reason, all right? And let's get this in the book of Psalms, chapter 10 and 2. It says, the wicked and his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices which they have imagined. And, you know, we'll get into a few things where this devil is going to be taken in his own devices. So you see, you know, with the new quarter, all right? That the uh, George Washington faces turned away, okay, from, you know, in God we trust. And these devils never trusted in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob. Their God has been Satan, okay? And one thing, you know, about the book of Job, it reveals, you know, the mindset of these devils and how they think, how they operate, okay? So let's go here to... All right, let's get the, uh, the book of Job, you know, then we'll get that in the wisdom of Solomon as well. All right, this is how these devils move, and this is how they have taught, all right, the masses to be, you know, in an all-out rebellion, pride. Okay, and this is the book of Job, I believe it's 21 and 14. It says, therefore, they say unto the Most High, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Okay, and this is how these devils move and operate, man. Okay, this is their mindset. This is the thought of these devils, okay, is the, the, for the most high to depart from them because they prospered under Satan. They prospered, prospered in left-hand wickedness, okay, witchcraft, you see? So they look at the most high as useless, okay? Verse 15, what is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Okay? And these devils, and it's these elites, okay, that really push this mindset in the earth. You know? Through their media, through their music. Okay? Music is more satanic than ever. All right? Uh, uh, TV. You know, everything that you see, we see on TV is some type of ritual, uh, you know, satanic symbolism in it. You know, alphabet behavior, uh, you know, trans, okay? All this Satanism, man. Because Esau Edom, he's getting bold with his Satanic, okay, uh, 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 doctrine, man. He's pretty much coming straight out. You see? When you see how they talk with the WEF, okay? They're pretty much openly telling you, like, look, man, this is, this is Satan's kingdom, man. Okay, and this is the order that we're bringing to the earth. And this is what these devils want to bring. <laughs> okay. Let's go there. Let's go from, from there. All right, let's get that in the wisdom of Solomon, man. Okay, Esau, Edom, hey, he's the, he, he comes in the working of Satan. And the energy of Satan, man, he's the, the <laughs> he's a descendant of Satan, man. Okay, no heathen is tapped into Satan like these devils, man. Okay, that's why the, the scriptures called them the the, the the mistress of witchcraft. Okay, which means the master. You see, because all these heathens they would you know tap into Satanism, and you know, all through the, through their you know idol worship. Okay, but this devil. All right, is 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 tapped in on another level. Okay, this is Wisdom Solomon chapter two verse one. It said, "For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not a right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. The Yolo spirit, man. Okay, everyone is just going through life. All right, making decisions based off." You only live once. So everyone is doing this far out shit. You know, some far out, bugged out. Like, what, you know, see what people are doing. They move in this energy of, of I only have one chance to do whatever I want to do. Okay? It said, For we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we have never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving. Of our heart. Yeah, because you see how these devils move, you know, 
these devils pretty much move like they, like no one has to inhabit the earth after them. The way that they're destroying everything, okay? They destroying the, the ecosystem, the air, the water, okay? They they move as if no one has to live on the earth after them, man. Okay? It says, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as a soft air. And our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. Now, for these Edomites, hey, it's going to be a time. Because, see, these devils, it's in their spirit. They know they're, they, they're not going to exist forever, man. So this is why this man has no limitation on his wickedness and, and his violence and what he won't try to attempt, man. That's why the Lord has cut the time short or this nigga will just destroy everything, man. Okay? It says, not life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning, for it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creature's like as in youth, let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ornaments, and let no fl flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown ourselves with rosebud before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion, and our lot is this. Okay? Then this is Esau's portion, man, to wild out. Before he's removed from power, man. Okay, and eventually before he's removed off the earth. So we're seeing this devil just go go into all right a, a free fall of wickedness, man. A free fall of rebellion, man. Okay, and he has the masses of people rebelling with him. Okay, because you go here, we always get it. All right, this is Sirach 10 to 1. It says, A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And we're going to ex we're gonna experience this under Yahweh We're going to see the earth well ordered. The entire earth will be well ordered under Yahweh And Lord will, we of, those, we of that number, you know, we're going to be joint heirs and aiding the well ordering. Okay, verse 2, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Okay? So we see this rebellion, this great rebellion in the earth because the leadership is rebellious. Okay? The rulers, the kings of the earth, which are the least, they're rebellious, man. So we're witnessing this great rebellion in the earth. Okay? It says, um, yeah, it says, yeah, verse 3 says, An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited, man. And the earth is under the leadership of an unwise king. Okay? And he's pushing rebellion, and this is going to, and this is leading the masses to the greatest destruction ever. Like what Esau doing, he's going to get people nuked. People are going to starve to death because of this man's leadership. Okay? People are going to die grievous deaths because of this man's leadership, man, and wickedness, man. Okay? This rebellious, this, this, this great rebellion that he's pushing in the earth. All right? Now, I want to go here real quick because dealing with this whole thing, you know, of a pansexual, man. All right, let's get this. Because it goes back to the Greek god, Pan, you know, which some myths say he was just a, you know, he was a Greek god that just walked around with a uh, 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 erection all goddamn day. Nigga had an e eternal erection, man. Okay, and you got that that uh, that horny spirit, you know, in America, which you know, uh, 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 we had lust, you know, but you know, we burnt our lust <laughs> towards women, you know, which we we know the the, the, the scripture tell us that we have to. You know, restrain it and, 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 and you know, and tame it. You know, but did, did you know this this guy here? You know, he just has an erection for anything and everything, man. 
completely wilding. <laughs> okay? So let's let this play. <laughs> the god of the wild, hunting, and companion of the nymphs. He was depicted as being half-human while having the legs and horns of a goat, just like a fawn. Many are just coming to terms with what this means today, and as an elven soul, I can give you the wisdom on it for those interested. Some may be wondering why they feel the way that they do at times, and since pansexuality has to do more with the spirit and soul, many are coming into awareness with this type of identity in this new earth age. I want you to know it's okay and completely normal. To this new earth age. These are the things that he wants to be normal, man. This is these are the things that this devil wants to be normalized, man. All right, he calls it a new earth age, man. Okay, where all type of freakism and and, and, and just lewd, you know, torturous, you know, just this man. <laughs> this man gotta be stopped, man. Okay. Follow your heart above all society standards. Pan was said to be a fawn with a musical pipe that would enchant the nature spirits around him, bringing all to dance and be merry in the forest. He symbolizes sexuality and lust all at the same time of being in joyfulness alignment with nature. The word pan in modern Greek means all or everything, but has deeper roots to mean guardian of the flocks. He was the Greek god of the forest, of all things wild and free, and the nature spirits. He would dance around in the forest bringing joy and encouraging sensuality within nature in order to bring forth new life in the forest. Along with creation, there was also freedom to express one's love and attraction deep within his forest. So the nature spirits danced in ecstasy at times under a starlit night together, free and uninhibited with one another. Pansexuality is exactly like that today. It means that you can fall in love with anyone based on their spirit, soul, and attraction for a person regardless of gender identity. You're attracted to their mind, not necessarily just their body, but looking through into their deep into their soul of who they are. The word fairy for homosexuals is a branch off of this in that fairies are the free elemental spirits that danced around Pan and through the forest in a beautiful dance. Growing up, I denied this label to myself. I've come to terms that I am just free spirited in nature and like the fairies don't follow a normal social construct. My Venus planet is also in Aquarius, so if yours is too, you may resonate with this free spirited type of love. There is an interesting Palladian connection there to the pansexuality, since the information channeled about them are always said that they are not bothered by earthly traditions of relationships and follow their heart wherever the wind blows them. In the Elves of Canada, How the Palladians Taught Me to Live, Love, Laugh Again by Joel Blanchard, a book that you can get on Amazon right now, they are very sexually free and view love and relationships in a different way from one another. In his book, they would often bathe together, both men and women, completely naked, in a completely friendly manner and there was no sexual tension and they were able to look beyond the bodies and really just enjoy each other's company in their natural state of being new. Also, the Pleiades were actually Greek nymphs, so that makes sense that they would be nymph-like. If you are in love with a pansexual, be aware that there are many different levels to pansexuality. Some can have very unconventional sexual lifestyles, but others like me simply fall in love with one person at a time. Depending on the soul that entices us at the time in our lives, we can be very loyal, sometimes to a fault, because we are enchanted by the soul of others, and it holds more sway over our hearts than a simple relationship. This bugged out and they keep talking about the social norms they talking about the standard of the bible okay talking about the standard of the bible and this is just pure rebellion man you know it, it, <laughs> you don't have to dig deep to see that this is just pure rebellion paying anything and then he's you know out in nature so you know bestiality is included in well okay and those are the same spirit that they the, 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 the pan spirit that was in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, it's the exact same spirit. 
Okay? And that's why it's going to get the exact same judgment just on the larger scale. Okay? <laughs> so let's get this. All right? It's the book of Matthew chapter 19, verse um, 4. And it says, and he answered and said unto them, this is how shall speaking, have you not read, all right, that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and the twain, all right, and they twain shall be one flesh, all right, which is the joining together in the act of sex, okay, becoming that one flesh. All right, between man and woman, that's and that's the simplicity and the way that that, that that we're created is simple. Nature tells us, okay, the right way. <laughs> all right, all that is madness. Okay, that's that's a madhouse what they're talking about, man. Confusion, okay, dysfunction, lewdness, death. Okay. Now. I want to go here because now their their sights are on the next generation because this generation they're done you know she you know they're they're floating around talking about they fairies and shit you know this generation here is completely done okay nigga got rainbow teeth all right magic johnson's son you know you see, like this generation here they they got them Okay, and that's why we have to be f forever grateful that the Lord pulled us out of the darkness, man. <laughs> okay, now this is a uh, this is an article. Okay, and it says indoctrination, intimidation, and intolerance. What passes for education today? All right, now this is a quote from Annette uh, Fu Fu Fuentes. It says every day in communities across. The United States children and adolescents spend the majority of their working hours in school that have increasingly come to resemble places of detention more than places of learning. Okay? You see? And what 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 are they learning? They're learning Satanism, man. Okay? It says, this is what it means to go back to school in America today. Instead of being taught the three R's of education, reading, writing, and arithmetic, young people are being drilled the three I's of life in the American police state, indoctrination, intimidation, and intolerance. Instead, while young people today are learning firsthand what it means to be at the epic center of politically charged culture wars, Test scores indicate that students are not learning how to succeed in social studies, math, and reading. Instead of raising up a generation of civic-minded citizens with critical thinking skills, government officials are churning out compliant drones who know little, little to nothing about their history or their freedoms. Okay, and this is this is this is part of his new age doctrine, man. Okay. <laughs> he he just want compliant Satanists, man. Okay. <laughs> it says under um it says under the direction of government officials focused on making the schools more authoritarian, sold to their parents as a bid to make schools safer. Young people in America are now first in line to be searched, surveilled, spied, threatened, tied up, locked down, treated like criminals for non-criminal behavior, tasered, in some cases shot. From the moment a child enters one of the nation's 98,000 public schools to the moment or he or she graduate, they will be exposed to a steady diet of draconian, zero-tolerance policies that criminalize childish behavior overreaching anti-bullying statutes that criminalize speech school research office officers all right police tasked with discipline and or arresting so-called disorderly students standardized testing that emphasize all right right answers okay over critical thinking politically correct mindsets that teach young people to censor themselves and those around them 
and the extensive biometric and surveillance systems that couple with the rest, all right, uh, acclimate young people to a world in which they have no freedom of thought, speech, or movement, okay? And is and what is he doing? He's rooting out, all right, any type of righteous order, man. He's rooting out any type of resistance to his wickedness, man, okay? He wants to quell any type of, 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 of righteous doctrine in the earth, man. This man wants all satanic thought in the earth, man. Okay, this is where this man is going. Okay? But we know that he's going to be stopped, man. All right? So we end it there. <laughs> you see? This is Joel 5 and 12. It says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And who is the crafty? Esau eat them. Okay? Well, our scriptures say that, the, 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 you know, the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field. This, this man is very crafty in his wickedness, man. Okay, but he's not going to be able to succeed in this enterprise, his satanic enterprise, man. It said he taken the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. Okay? So these devils are being trapped within their own schemes. Okay? And this in this plan for just total control, all right, is gonna he's gonna end up being in slavery. And his mind says to enslave the masses on another level, okay. But the end game is he's gonna go into slavery, man. All right, so these devils are just trapping themselves with their own schemes and wickedness, man. All right, and we're watching these things play out, you know. So Lord will you brothers and you few sisters edified to the next time I say shallow one. Bye 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 DTA soon. Shalom.